Welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going to the fair and keep, but before we do, we've got a couple oh, NPCs well here to see. Helmet. Give her these paladin Gracious. ashes. Passing finer, let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope. <laughs> We're wanting to buy purple moss. I'm going to buy 20 of them. And you can see she's got quite a few new things in here. Weapons and armor, primarily. Let's go down here. Make sure we don't need to see Andre for anything. I'm ah, certain. Tis good to see what needs. Nothing there. Right. Gray Rat is down here. We need to see him. He's back in oh, the undead hello. settlement. You've come at a good time. Good. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. One divine blessing. A lot of weapons. Plenty of shields. Pairing shields. Hmm. A lot of arrows and bolts, plenty of new armor. That's it for now. Goodbye. See you later. We've got one more conversation to have and then we're gonna head to the keep. And here it is. Long-winded Horus. Metal codpiece, Horus. Goodness. And here's Henry. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke We're before twins. on the road of sacrifices. Andri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. All right. And so it's mine as well, but we need to go to Fair and Keep first. It's funny that that place she's talking about, Irithyll of the Boreal Valley, you know, I, I've seen that place plenty of times. Going there used to PvP out on that half circle behind the Pontiff Sullivan's or Sullivan room. And I, I guess I never would have expected it to be called Irithyll, but I suppose it makes sense. Here is Farron Keep, the uh, poisonous swamp of this game. You, uh, it's pretty easy to get lost in here, I think. You really want to spend a little time kind of getting to know where you are. You'll see a half-sunken see the dome over there a half sunk tower that's kind of a focal point and this uh, archway with the red glowing light leading back to the bonfire is another one let's go out of the bonfire door to the left and come kill these things these slugs aren't too bad but the the poison that they spit goes quite a ways there's the ragged mask for me. And I'm going to run over here to the left. And as soon as I pick this item up, I'm going to spin a 100 and about 80 degrees, run back towards this, and then make my way across and up here. Now we've got to accept the poison. Now look to the right and see the tower, sunken tower straight in front of us are some stairs going up. Let's go over here and get this first. 
Has to shard, that's always good. There we're poison, but we don't care. We'll move over here by the stairs and pick up this titanite shard. We'll look back around and to the left. There's that item. We're gonna run a straight line here. Prism stones slightly to the right and another straight line. Chop this slug. Take his stone parma shield and spin back around. Run back here. Alright. Now once we're at the end of this island we can look around and we can see another item. That's where we're headed next. Get your shield ready as we've got a dark wraith around this corner. He usually means quite a bit of business. Don't let him kick your shield open. That's all for him. I'll take that dark armor. Nice. And two cracked. But we've already got the full one. Um, Sage Cole. Now we're going to go back out the way we came. That's right out here. There's his body. We're going to head. Follow this big wall around and back to the stairs. Turn left up the stairs. Quick grab a moss. Stop that poison. I meant to shoot him with a bow and draw him out. You don't really want to fight him at the same time. See, they are... Gru is the animal that they are. Alright, Rotten Gru Spear. Cool. Titanite Shard, that's good. Now, you'll notice that you can interact with this thing here, which when you do, will put the fire out on top of that tower. There are, I think there are three of them down here that all are part of a lock to a big door to let you out of the keep. But I'm going to do that later on in another video. We're just going through clearing out items so we can kind of not have to revisit parts of the uh, level. Now when you come up the stairs, if you just come through here, you can go up, pick up the item, the enemy's there. You can go down over here. And I'm going to get my bow and aggro this crazy leaping Gru, a Gru leaper, and watch him go wild. You know, he's he's something else to fight because his his grab you and bite you move that right there. Don't let him get a hold of you. It's not so bad to get jumped on, but if he if he gets a hold of you and starts biting you, he will he will do probably more than half your health if you don't have a ton of hit points. So let's go over here, pick this final item up on our little first part checklist. Titanite shard. And we just spin right back around from there, right back. Where we came, down those stairs, look here to the left, run over against the wall, watch your right, as there is a, I'm not sure which, what type of groove this is supposed to be, but he is there nonetheless. And another one usually gets interested in what you're doing when you come up here, and if not, he will when you go to the other side. There's a great sword. I would like to make a boss weapon, a boss fighting weapon, something like that. Now they just do so much damage to them. We move to the other side now. Down to six flasks. Which I'm not a big fan of, but I'm going to take a drink. 
secure the poison back on the flask and grab this purple moss clump now you look through these trees you can see moving over there is a huge elder grew let him go down there and kind of get stuck and move around a minute and he'll start to turn around and go back to where he came from now you can start shooting him again get plenty of damage in before he comes up here so when we actually do start fighting him he's a third health maybe we can do a little bit better than that goodbye I'm getting destroyed he's slow with that with that uh tree branch so we've got two <laughs> two Estus flasks to go oh I just barely missed him there's the other one over there I really I prefer to fight him up on here that didn't go very good hopefully this goes a little bit better there I hit him I had about one second to go on that. Now, I might have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it clear. We're going to have to keep that poison cured. Good thing I brought a bunch of uh, <laughs> moss with me. Those grooves can do some serious, those elder grooves do some serious damage. Keep that poison off you. Right around here and we're going to pick up the nameless night outfit armor. Get back over here on land. Now, there's Yellowfinger Hazel, but she comes... She spawns on the other side of that building, so we're not going to see her. We're going to look. Watch out. Now, I don't have hit points to spare. I'm going to look back here. And just start rolling towards the uh, saving grace that is the Estes Soup on top of that hill. One more moss. And we'll grab some Estes Soup and refill. Sunlight Talisman. And we are nearly done with this little bit. Let's run down here and grab that sword grass. Chop these slugs real quick. And we'll climb the ladder. a long ladder. There's a crystal lizard for us. And there is a an illusionary wall right there. Cream chaser ash. Ashes. Here's Sparon. A wolf of Perrin. Yes. Look at the wolf. We're not going to equip anything. We'll just leave. 
and hit the bonfire, though I'm sure we probably can't sit down at it. Yeah, we, we've got that uh, red phantom in here. So, let us go up the elevator and go see about the stray demon. And the items that remain on top of this roof. I don't have a lot of Estus Flask left. And he looks like he takes at least four or five. <laughs> well, get underneath him, get behind him. See, he hit me with his tail. Now he's gonna grab me. If you get in front of him, he will grab you. Throw you off this bridge, he will squeeze the hell out of you. demon broke his legs off he didn't stand a chance I got no Estus refill off of that I'll grab the uh, great axe the ember and one more ember over here I wish I wasn't embered now I could use one refill if I get hurt at all well We'll keep running on Zero Estus Flask for a minute and see how it goes. It's going to be a little more tough because we've got to kind of run into an area. Well, let's step off here easily. Flip. And flip again. Well, I can't spare too many more flips. So... There is the crystal lizard that we're going to chase first. Try to keep him from getting away. <laughs> you backstabbing. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right. He would if if you ran up here and he saw you, he'd scream like that and draw everybody to you at once. Fortunately, nobody cared this time. Ass stab. Took him off there. And we're gonna look out onto the field of goodies. You can see a couple. Crystal lizards, one down at the end. This one, we're gonna run into the wall first. I'll take that and chase that other one next. A couple of large, large titanite shards. I'm sure I'll get plenty of them later on, but I don't have too many right now. Dragon crest shield, which I'd like to look at just for. What am I, that's the crest shield, okay, and the dragon crest shield, everything's the same except for the dark is lower by a half, it just flips them around, huh, I don't know, I don't know which one you run into more, and now you can either homeward bone from here back, but I'll show you that if you don't have one, you just go up, back up this wall. And too bad there ain't a... He caught me by surprise. Too bad there's not a lever down there to open that gate, I was going to say. Um, nothing over here. Just a little bit of... 
Praise the sun for sure. Um, Lothric Castle up there. Just slide down this. And again, in a flip. And then you can walk. I mean, you can go back to the stairs or you can step off here and here again. Turn around and flip. And we'll go back down to the old wolf bonfire. And that will be everything that we're going to do in this part of the keep. Walk through. I can't sit down, I imagine, still. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.